Good morning, folks. Welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido. We're going to strike the mother load in this episode of Grand Adventure in Virginia City, Nevada. So stick around. So we wanted to camp right in the center of Virginia City. So we're in the Virginia City RV Park, which is the town's only RV campground. Um, it's a beautifully maintained park. It's got new owners who are very anxious to uh, make sure that guests have a wonderful stay. Uh, the park previously had some negative reviews on Google under the previous ownership, uh, but the new owners are doing their best to try to straighten that out and upgrade the park wherever they possibly can. My only complaint is that a lot of the sites, including ours, number 15, are anything but level. Uh, but with some seriously creative block use, we managed to get the thing level, uh, so all turned out well in the end. In addition to the usual restrooms, showers, and laundry, the Virginia City RV Park offers a well-stocked market and the Cemetery Cafe, food to die for, right at the premises. We're within walking distance of Virginia City's downtown attractions. Uh, even though the park doesn't have a swimming pool themselves, there's a beautiful town park with a swimming pool immediately across the street from the front entrance. So you have just about everything you want for $46 a night. Now, let's get out and explore Virginia City a little bit. Virginia City sprang up as a boom town almost overnight following the 1859 discovery of the Comstock Lode, the first major silver deposit discovered in the U.S. with numerous mines opening. Virginia City's silver and gold, totaling hundreds of thousands of dollars in the currency of the time, largely financed the construction and development of San Francisco, as well as the Union Army's success in the U.S. Civil War. By 1876, Nevada produced over half of all the precious metals in the United States. The Great Fire burned most of Virginia City in 1875, and the majority of the buildings standing today date to the reconstruction following that fire. peak of population in the mid-1870s, Virginia City had an estimated 25,000 residents. 
Today, it's around 850, largely devoted to the tourism industry in town. 19th century Virginia City included gas and sewer lines, the 100-room International Hotel with an elevator, three theaters, the McGuire Opera House, four churches, and three daily newspapers, at one of which Samuel Clemens began his career as an editor from 1862 to 1864, and where he first adopted his better known pen name, Mark Twain. Strolling the boardwalk sidewalks of C Street, we found shopkeepers to be overwhelmingly friendly and welcoming. Over two million visitors travel to Virginia City each year. But this may be the first tourist town that we've ever encountered that virtually shuts down at 6 p.m. The Red Dog Saloon was one of the few businesses that we found open on a Monday evening, and they serve good light meals. Patricia raved about her veggie pizza, and I had no complaints about my barbecue beef sandwich. The Virginia and Truckee Railroad runs up to seven trains per day, many in steam behind locomotive number 29, from Memorial Day until the end of October each year. It was first constructed in 1870 to serve the Comstock Load mining communities, and at its height, its route ran from Virginia City to the state capital at Carson City and on to a connection with the Central Pacific Railroad in Reno. The railroad was abandoned in 1950 in the face of economic realities and was revived as a tourist attraction in 2009. Also worthwhile is a stroll through the city's historic Silver Terraces Cemetery on Boot Hill, adjacent to the RV park, for the chance to meet the town's early residents via their descriptive grave markers. That was a fun little visit to this historic little western town. We're going to hit the road again tomorrow morning, head down the eastern Sierra for a little more boondocking. Uh, somewhere around the Mammoth Lakes area, hopefully up around 8,000 feet to try and keep things cool. So to make sure that you come along with us, if you're not yet one of our grand adventurers, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, give us a thumbs up if you like this video. We'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section down below. And until next time, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you soon.